hello 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 this is Frida welcome to my channel uh, for this video I am going to explain how to knit this hat because <laughs> it took me days to finish it today is Wednesday I started on Saturday I even started a video on how to knit this hat but I noticed it's taking me forever so the yarn that I used, uh, I recently bought this yarn. It has cashmere in it. It has angora in it. It has merino baby merino wool in it. It has everything in it. And it has 20% polyamide. First I thought I was going to knit gloves. But it, was, it didn't give me that um, fuzziness if you look at it. It's more I can feel the cashmere. So I said, no, I'm not going to knit gloves. I thought socks would be perfect. But then I was trying to uh, design something one of a kind. It was 100 gram. And there's I just weighed it. So it's 15 gram left of this yarn. I do have a tutorial. I will pin this um, video on how to knit this band here. So while I was designing, and I already have a tutorial on how to knit this lace leaf stitch. It took me one hour to do that tutorial. Okay, so what I did is, in the, if you go to that tutorial, I will pin that as well. I did three times what I showed on that tutorial. So 53 stitches is uh, you start from here and then you end here so 53 so I did that three times so here's another one so 53 plus 53 and then here's another one so 53 plus times three the band is 150 stitches. Yes, 150 stitches. And when I put it on my head, it fits like a bucket hat. It's it's not tight. It's not like a beanie. It fits like a bucket hat if you look at it. So I, I wanted to design this uh, stitch for the hat. And uh, as you can see, the yarn is really thin. It's a number one. Uh, for the band, I knit it with one, one strand, and when I came to here, I doubled it. Because um, the yarn is very thin, and I used a two millimeter, two and a half millimeter knitting needles. Uh, can't find them. They were here. I know I put it here somewhere. I can't find it now. Anyways, yeah, the, uh, I knit uh, socks with them. So, uh, yeah, it was really, really tall. Uh, and then when I started the stitch, I doubled it. So I used two strand of uh, this uh, yarn. And I still have, I thought I wasn't going to have enough. But it was a little bit tough. That's why it took me forever to finish the hat. But it just turned out fantastic. Just wanted to show you a close-up look. Yeah, I used small needles because I wanted to give that. Uh, I, if this uh, this pattern, uh, this lace uh, leaf stitch is very popular, and mostly people are knitting cardigans, vests, sweaters with this stitch. So I wanted to design something like a smaller version. That's why I used a thinner yarn and a small needle. And uh, yeah, so what I did is I did it three times of the tutorial that I'm going to pin. So I I knit up to here. Well, no, not three times. No, no, not three times actually. So I finished one of the. Oh, how many rows was it? I can't remember. 37. I'm not going to say it. I'm sorry. I, I, but I know it's 53 stitches for one uh, up one from here to here. Uh, no, from here to here. I'm totally lost. It's 53 stitches. 
So I'm a little bit confused. It's late. And uh, I took pictures and it's really cold outside and I had to do some cooking. So, uh, yeah, forgive me. But, uh, yeah, so I did it. Uh, I started. So the pattern is up to here, I believe. So what I did, did is I continued, and here uh, I couldn't continue on the, so I did two, yeah. So I did two, I knit up to here, and I knit up to here. And when I came to the third, instead of doing yarn overs, I continued to do my decreases. Can you see there's no yarn over? So I stopped doing the yarn over. If you look at this, there's yarn over here, right? So I didn't do yarn over. What I did is I did decreases. So I got rid of one stitch here, one stitch here. And uh, instead of doing yarn over, I got rid of them. So it gave me that uh, a crown. See how it turned out? I just love it. Um, I'm going to post the pictures. Uh, I wrote, already posted on my Etsy shop. So this hat is for sale. If I can sell it, that would be great. But um, lately, I'm not getting many sales on Etsy. So, uh, yeah, so this is on for sale, and it's just gorgeous, just lovely cashmere hat, and it keeps you nice and warm. It keeps you nice and warm. That's what I wanted to do, the lace, these yarns over, so it can get, get you can get fresh air, because <laughs> it is it is pretty warm, because I do have an Angora hat and uh it keeps me warm and i just finished it until i had i continued doing my decreases just followed the pattern that's all i did i didn't do any yarn over so when i did my decreases i ended up with just small amount of uh, stitches here and i i grabbed a tapestry needle and i just went over i do have a tutorial on how to knit this hat it is similar to that as i did but because of the color, you can't see anything. It's like a jungle here. It's so puzzly. But here you can see because it's a solid color, right? That's why I wanted to use a solid color. And I just love, love, love how it turned out. Yeah, so uh, this is a short video. Uh, I can't go over how to knit this hat. I already have a tutorial on how to knit the brim. And I have a tutorial on how to knit the stitch. <clears throat> I was going to do the tutorial, but it was, it's going to take me hours because I started on Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Well, I'm not counting today because I finished it last night. So it took me four days to knit this hat. I could have knit a cardigan in that four days. <laughs> so just a lot of work, a lot of work. The stitches, um, I wouldn't recommend this for new beginner knitters like... There are lots of new beginners. I I am sorry if you're a new beginner, beginner knitter, you can't knit this. It, it's it is really complicated. Yeah. And if you want to knit a hat like this, by all means follow the tutorial that I did on how to knit the stitch and time it by three. So I had 150 here and 53, 53, 53. You have to do some increases. To, so I uh, here on the first row, I did some increases while I was setting up the stitch pattern on the 5353 because uh, uh, I only had 150 stitches, right? So just to put that, so you, you do your increases. I don't have a written pattern, like I said, it, it just came up to my head and I started on Saturday. And I was planning to make uh, socks with this, but unfortunately 53 st stitches is too wide for a sock. So I might only knit this part of the lace. Maybe just add that, uh, add this part here on a sock that I'm planning to make. And uh, let me see. So I'm going to start, I'm going to do the K Turkish cast on method. I love that method. And uh, here it is. So what I'll do is I'll just, if you want to watch the tutorial, uh, stay tuned for that tutorial. I, I will do that tutorial. So I only will show you the leaf, one leaf, 
because like I said it's uh, already 60 stitches to knit socks and um, yeah so I will put one leaf and then another leaf like this even that second leaf is going to be too much but uh, yeah let me see what I can do and uh, on this section I want to do something a little bit higher so I'm going to use the heel technique to do that. So stay tuned for that tutorial. Yeah, while well, I was knitting this, you know, something else I designed. I worked on it. Yeah, um, so stay tuned for that tutorial. And I am going to start a new sweater. So stay tuned for that as well on how to knit the v-neck when you knit top down so I just love love how this turned out it's wonderful to work with luxurious yarn just to point out yeah just lovely yeah so um, I hope you like this uh, I tried to explain as much as I can but I do not recommend this for new beginners because uh, the pattern is a little bit complicated a little bit yeah a little bit I've been uh, knitting like uh, 40 yeah 44 years now so um and uh yeah I had a at the beginning even doing the tutorial on how to knit the stitch I did a tutorial it's uh oh, here it is it's here oops see I just want to show you how big it is see on a four weight in the yarn See how big it is I might do this a cowl because I only have one ball of yarn the yarn is pretty soft so just to point out the difference because of knitting uh, with smaller needles this is a four and a half knitting needles and I knit the hat with a two two and a half so uh, you can see the difference just to point out yeah it's a big difference isn't it how huge it is yeah I hope you like this video uh, again if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and don't forget to hit that, hit that notification button every time I post a video you will be notified if you don't hit that notification button you will never know what's happening <laughs> something surprise live stream you will miss because I do not promote them uh, and I will see you on my next uh, video. Take care, everybody. Happy knitting. Bye-bye.